lovelies I've got something beautiful to show you so Teddy Black New York have sent me a couple of bags you might remember I've got a couple of bags already from Teddy Blake um, I probably got them a couple of years ago they come in this gorgeous box so Teddy Blake New York it's a luxury leather handbag company uh, beautifully beautifully made handbags such attention to detail I mean they don't look quality wise any different to your Gucci's Valentino's you know I like my designer bags and I have have a few but they are just so expensive um, and it is probably because you are paying for the name like Gucci Yves Saint Laurent Valentino but Teddy Blake bags are so beautiful unfortunately I haven't been able to enjoy my bags at all in a year and a half because I haven't been going anywhere but they are just so beautiful they are all made in Italy by Italian craftsmen and they are the same people that made bags for big names but you get a beautiful great quality beautiful leather bag without the price tag so let me show you the bags that I have it's such a lovely box there you go it says here Teddy Blake New York designer handbags made in Italy luxury leather each Teddy Blake handbag has been made with you in mind to be an extension of your unique style and flatter your every fashion choice they also come in their own dust bag just like you would get with any big name designer bag so the first one is Ava or Ava 11 and I already have a couple of Avas uh, but they are a bit different the, and mine is in light beige um, the difference is here in a clasp but I just want you to have a look at the craftsmanship it has the feet so you don't damage your leather when you put your bag down let's take this stuffing out of it I keep that actually I always keep my bags with the stuffing in the dust bags on a shelf so this is the inside and even the inside here is not just some polyester lining it's proper beautiful leather like suede so that's the inside you just have one of these pockets here and the clasp it's pretty difficult to do it while showing you at the same time just goes like this so I will show you that the, oh I should have a I should also uh, show you that it comes with a strap I'm just unpacking it with you so it comes with a strap which you attach to your bag you can obviously also decide how long you want the strap to be so you can wear it just on your shoulder or you can make it longer and have it cross body I hope you can see how big it is against my body because it also comes in nine inches and I think there is one that is bigger than this this one is 11 it is so so beautiful now let me show you the difference between my old Ava I have one in this beautiful um, blue the size is exactly the same this one is like completely plain here 
this one you can see has like a panel here with Teddy Blake on the top of it and when it comes to the clasp this one I think was a very much model on Hermes um, is it Kelly actually I much prefer this design when it comes to the opening this was a bit of a you have to take that strap out that strap out then open it it's slightly different inside it doesn't matter because they don't sell these ones anymore but I always found it a bit um, too much work I would actually just leave these straps like this or tuck them like this because if you are shopping and you have to open your bag all the time it was a bit too much so I find this this one actually much easier So that's the difference, just in case you maybe already have um, the old Ava, you can see that the straps are a bit different. And I love this colour, I wanted something in that colour because it really goes with everything, it's just like a light beige, so I wanted something that is quite neutral and would go with everything. The second bag is so cute. This is just something that I wanted for, you know when you go on holiday and you go to a restaurant in the evening because we will be able to go inside restaurants now. Uh, you need just something to put your phone and wallet and maybe sunglasses in. You don't want to carry a big bag, just nice crossbody bag. Look at this one. These type of bags, I don't know what they call them, these sort of scrunched up bags, they've become very fashionable about a year ago and I can't remember the first designer uh, that did, did those bags. And I have that one in pink, you know I wear a lot of pink, especially in the summer. I love the opening, it just has hinges here and it just opens like this. Let me take the stuffing out and because of that, look how roomy it is it's only small but very roomy again beautiful leather soft leather inside you've got here the teddy blake and you've got very subtle in gold lettering teddy blake new york on here so that one comes with just a fixed strap Oh my god, I love this bag, absolutely love it. It's so cute, but so spacious inside. I am in love with this little bag. They come in so many colours, so does the Ava, and they bring out new styles and uh, new colours every season. I actually have a discount for, a code for you for $30 off um, but I don't think the discount is for bags that are already on sale. That's another thing, they do sales so often, honestly, I cannot stress enough how beautiful, how well made these bags are for the price that you pay. When you look at all the stitching how it's finished it's it's just honestly if someone put on here gucci or valentino you wouldn't be any wiser well unless you know that that's not the style that gucci would do but you know what i mean when it comes to quality this leather is just like butter because obviously um a bag is more of a structured bag so still beautiful leather, but obviously it's not as scrunchy as this. This is totally different, um, different style. I want to check something. You know, I've got um, my newest sunglasses. I think I bought them last year, um, Gucci. Those huge um, sunglasses that I have come in a huge case. And I always have a problem when I go out 
for those glasses to fit. I'm going to see if they fit in that bag because that would be amazing. Okay, look how enormous is this uh, Gucci case because these glasses are quite big. And when I, whenever I go out with like a smallish bag, they don't fit. So let's see. Right. Oh, I have managed to put it in. You just have, have to maneuver it. There it is. So this must be the only small bag that I have that I can put my Gucci case in. That's brilliant. I so much like this opening. It's like these old fashioned purses, you know, that just have um, those little hinges. I love it, love this bag. Of course, love this one as much, but this one is more of a formal bag, I would say. And I am so familiar uh, with Ava because I already have two in different colors. Uh, but I think this one is like brand new this season because I haven't seen them before on the website. So I am quite impressed um, with that bag. It's nice and light as well. You know, sometimes when you have those little bags across, across your body, they can be a bit heavy and um, uncomfortable. This one is so lovely. I want it in every color now and they have gorgeous colors as well and in this bag there is so many colors to choose from so thank you so much to Teddy Blake for treating me to those bags I love them and hopefully we're gonna be open completely soon so I can enjoy them in the summer so I will leave you the link for um, to the website and I've got the discount code and I think it's for 30 pounds off uh, so go and check out the website you will not be disappointed with those bags honestly I actually have bought which bag was it it was a leather bag it was quite expensive let me just have a look so for example I've got this Tory badge bag you might remember I bought last year and it was probably the price of this one or this one i can't remember how much it was or maybe it was even more expensive but when you look inside there is no leather inside it's just like a canvas type of fabric so even though you know it's a nice leather um but it cost me maybe even more than the teddy blake bags and doesn't even have the leather inside so definitely ladies treat yourself or if it's your birthday coming or something you can send a little link to your husband <laughs> to get you one they are honestly really beautiful right I wish I could go somewhere now with my bag but instead I have to go and do my laundry <laughs> so I am going to put this stuff in back in I like to keep this stuffing in my bag because they keep them in shape and I always keep them in the little dust bag and I store them on a shelf. Right my lovelies, have a look, link in the description box, uh, so is the discount code and I will speak to you tomorrow. Hello my lovelies. So today is a filming day. I have just filmed makeup video. First makeup video, I would say in five, six weeks. So, you know, for a while I was just doing my Monday vlogs um, because I just didn't feel like doing um, any other videos. But it felt really good. I thought it would be very hard um, after such a long time not filming a makeup video but uh, yeah it felt really good so I will be today editing it it takes a long time you've already seen this video last Wednesday so yeah that's what I'm doing today sorry if the light is going up and down today is an awful day every time I choose to do a makeup video 
I happen to have this weather that the sun goes in, in and out, in and out, and my picture goes dark and bright, dark and bright. It's so annoying. Um, but, you know, I can't control the weather. I have a bit of, I feel like my occipital neuralgia is back. Um, I've been having, you know, this pain that goes from here right to my eye. Um, so I've been feeling like I have few knots in my neck and that's probably what it is, you know. Uh, that's what happens when you stress or you've been in the wrong position for a while. Especially with me, I'm very prone to that. The muscles here spasm and that's when they press on your occipital nerve. Uh, you know, I've suffered with it a few years back, but I had it sorted out. Sorted out. I think what it might be, when we were away, uh, the sofas were really nice, but they were not very supportive. They were very, like the back of them was very short, so you had no support for your neck. So if I was on my laptop or I was watching something, you know, when you sit in this position all the time, uh, that usually does my neck in. So... I think because the sitting wasn't too comfortable when we were away, I think that's what happened. So I get Paul later to massage those knots. I actually did it a bit this morning and it feels better. But yesterday my head was honestly that pain. If you've ever suffered with it, it's awful. And I also, I still have some amitriptyline left. So I took a tablet of that because... I don't know if you remember, this was what actually saved me. I was suffering with it for weeks and weeks. I went to a few different doctors and all they did was take headache tablets or um, put some hot compress on it or even gave me one of those ointments that you rub in that warms your muscle up. That never helped. I went to osteopath. That used to help for a little while because she would relax that muscle but the muscle would spasm again so eventually one of the doctors prescribed me amitriptyline which used to be used as a antidepressant i don't think they use it as antidepressants anymore because they found that it's very good for neurological pain so i remember taking it for a few weeks every night you have to take it at night because it makes you a bit drowsy and that sorted me out and I haven't had that pain since till now it's not too bad so I think if I just you know I catch it quickly and try to relax those muscles I will be fine and just be very careful in the next week or so with um, my posture um, obviously don't just go and take amitriptyline talk to your doctor first but that's what helped me Mm, amitriptyline relaxes your muscles therefore if you take it continuously for, for a few days or weeks um, it relaxes the muscles completely enough that they let go of that nerve that's what I have learned oh I forgot to tell you something so you know those um, bone conducting headphones that I bought that I'm so crazy about the aftershocks They've stopped working when we were away. They just turned themselves off and wouldn't charge at all. So, because I bought them from Amazon, I'm just returning them. There's no problem with it and I have reordered another pair. Um, but if this happens again with those headphones, then, you know, that will make me think that there is something wrong with them. They don't last so long, so I wouldn't buy them again. But we will see. I've got the new pair already. And I'm waiting for someone to pick up the other ones to get the refund. But yeah, um, when I read the reviews on it, no one mentioned that. No one ever said it. So maybe there was just something wrong with mine. But yeah, I thought I'd tell you that that could happen. But if you buy it from Amazon, there is usually no problem with returning it. Okay, I'm going now to do some work. Hello, my lovelies. I just quickly pop in here to tell you something. I'm about to go to the gym. So, you know, in my Wednesday video when I did the full face of most used makeup, um, and, you know, I always use 
on my brows the Charlotte Tilbury legendary brow and when I was writing up my description box to give you links I couldn't find it anywhere and I think I even saw on Charlotte Tilbury's website that this has been discontinued why every time I like something it gets discontinued foundations bronzers mascara so annoying but after that I've decided to look everywhere and I found them they still obviously have some stock on ASOS so I bought two the thing is this one has even different color so when I first was buying it it was called Linda my color then I can never remember what the second one was it was called something different but on ASOS they were all different names so mine is soft brown so there is a swatch picture and i thought yeah it's probably soft brown and when i looked at it um it is definitely the same color that i have so just wanted to let you know that if you use it if you like it have a look on asos or just look anywhere you can who sells um Charlotte Tilbury because they've discontinued this I saw that she's brought out some new brow stuff so she used to do this you know triangular pencil which I cannot get on with but then she brought out like a micro triangular pencil I might try that one but then I'm quite happy with my elf brow pencil um but I saw she does something like a mascara for brow which maybe is to replace this but I don't think it's with that tiny brush I love the tiny brush on this so I don't know but I thought I'd tell you that this is discontinued now so if you want it look everywhere you might find someone that still has it in stock okay I'm going to the gym now good morning my lovelies so it has been pretty uneventful week in fact I don't know where this week has gone and what I did um, very boring weekend today is Sunday uh, we haven't been for any long walks because it's been raining most of the time so it hasn't been very nice so I haven't had any nice walks this week um but i bought something exciting i got the brand new natasha denona zendo palette the big one so you know i've got the mini zendo so here is the mini zendo and here is the big zendo palette it looks so gorgeous but I don't understand because if you look at these two this looks nothing apart from maybe one color not even one color um, like the big one so I don't understand the relationship still maybe it's just like a complimentary the mini is complimentary to the big one but as you can see it has like warmer side on one side sort of corals pinks some more browns and gold and here you've got some nice teals and greens so i'm looking forward to i've already done one look and you might have seen me in this video with it on but it doesn't matter i'm going to try to do a few looks with it and get that video out for wednesday um, so yeah really looking forward to it I tell you then what I think of it I think if you are a collector of Natasha Denona palettes and I think if you have the bronze palette you probably don't need this one because I think these colors are very similar to some colors in a bronze one and then what is the big the really expensive palette oh gosh they has like array of shades and i think that palette has um a lot of greens in there as well oh my god what is that palette called 
I obviously don't have those palettes but if you have the other two then you probably wouldn't need this one so yes I'm going to do some looks hopefully for Wednesday okay my lovelies I've probably finished this vlog here because it's Sunday there is nothing is gonna happen <laughs> um this week so I hope you have a lovely week thank you so much for watching and I see you in my next video bye